Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this super chunky blanket. So if you guys want to make one of your own, please keep watching. So I'm starting off with this 10 pound ball of wool that I got from Comfy Wool. And I'm going to start by carefully placing it on its side and finding the end so that I could start unraveling it. This wool is extremely delicate, so you want to be very careful when you are handling it. And if you ever find that pieces tend to come apart, then just kind of squeeze and pat them together. Do not rub them and do not try to comb them because they will get tangled. So I'm just going to slowly unravel a good amount so that I have enough to work with. Make sure that you have enough unraveled so that you do not accidentally pull on it and break it. So I'm going to start with about a foot to a foot and a half section of wool and I'm going to tie it into a loop. The loop itself is going to be about the size of my hand, but that is completely up to your own preference. The bigger the loop, the more loose the blanket will be. And then I'm going to make sure that my loop is tight by pulling very gently on the ends. I'm going to create another loop by pulling a section of wool through that first loop. This loop will be about the same size as my first one. And then I'm just going to repeat this step about 25 more times for a total of 25 loops. The length of your blanket will depend on the number of loops you make, so again, that is up to your own personal preference. Now that I have my first row done, I'm going to start on the second row. So I'm going to grab an extra section of wool and pull it through that first loop and make sure that the loop is facing upwards. I'm going to be pulling additional sections of wool through each loop of the first row that I made to make loops and I'm going to make sure that they are all facing upwards. And just repeat this until your entire row is complete. Once you have your second row done, you're going to take an extra section of wool and pull it through that last loop. And you're just going to repeat that until you finish your third row. One thing I like to do is make sure that I don't miss any loops as I complete each row because if you do, you will have to unravel your entire blanket and risk damaging the wool. So just keep repeating these steps until your blanket is pretty much done. Right now, I'm at the point where I still have a good amount of wool left, but not quite enough to complete a new row. So I'm going to close off my blanket now. So the way that you close your blanket off is by taking two loops and then running a section of wool through it to create a new loop. Then you're going to take that loop that you just made and use the next loop to run a section of wool through it and create another loop. And you're just going to repeat this until you are all done. If you end up finding out that you don't have enough wool to close this, you will have to unravel a whole section. In this case, I got pretty lucky and I had just enough. Now that I'm on my last loop, I'm just going to run the piece of extra wool through it and I'm just going to loop it all down the side of my blanket to make sure that it's nice and hidden and secure. And this is the final result. I made my loops a little bit bigger this time so that the blanket is bigger and more looser, but again, that's up to your preference. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it was very helpful so now you guys can go ahead and make your own chunky blankets and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!